Hey guys, Buffy Game Bet today, bringing you a video, and today we're going over a weapon conversion for Call of Duty Vanguard, that being the FN F2000 Tactical. So we'll go ahead and jump in here, and you didn't hear me wrong, I did say Call of Duty Vanguard, and I did say the F2000. So let's go ahead, we'll jump into this, we'll build this out, and then we'll jump into a little bit of gameplay, showing the weapon uh, recoil patterns and things like that inside of Vanguard, and then I'll try and show just some previews of it, how it works in... Uh, Call of Duty's Warzone as well. So we'll go ahead and back out. And here we have the final, well, the base version of the F2000. Now, this was added today here in the mid season update for season five. Reloaded. And to unlock this, you just need to get five or 15 ADS kills using a quote unquote ACOG optic. So to do that, you can do that with. Any zoomed optic, I believe it is what really it amounts to. Any of these, this, uh, if you're doing Vanguard, this G16 2.5, any of these zoomed optics, magnified optics, the VLK Rogue on the Modern Warfare guns, anything that's magnified uh, will work for this. So anything that's 3, three to 3.25 to 4, etc. And here in Vanguard, obviously, this G16 2.51 will also work. So... So this is the base F2000. Let's go ahead now and we'll build this thing up. And like I said, at, at base it is the Eppenhurstel F2000. So we're just going to build it up. Not too many attachments we need to add to this uh, to kit it out a little bit more. So we'll skip the muzzle. You can see here for the muzzle, there's not really that much, uh, nothing special for this weapon. Just at base, it still is the Vanguard attachments. For the barrel options here, we're going to actually go with the uh, the Libre 438mm Rapid. Now, in real life, the base barrel length is 400 uh, millimeters or 16 inches. So, at base, it looks like it's a little bit longer than that. If we put on this one, 438 millimeters, it's still longer than what the base is. Uh, so, regardless, just a little bit of discrepancy there. But this is going to increase our fire rate. So, in real life, the rate of fire is 850 rounds per minute, I believe. So, we'll get into that here in the video for this weapon conversion. So, this will increase our fire rate. Cons are accuracy and sprint to fire speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. Next up for the optic. So the optic here, what we're going to do is actually just swap up the iron sights a little bit. You can see the base iron sights there. Very clean, easy to use for sure. I personally, reminds me more so of the Battlefield 3, 4 iron sights using this, uh, this circle IS. It just gives it that open back ring sight there. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now the stock. The stock at base is a little weird. It's kind of a skeleton stock option in real life. Um, this is not, this is not hollowed out like that. So what we'll do, the best option here, you can see you have the Leroy Custom. You have the uh, skeleton stock, which this one's actually really nice. Reminds me more of like a, a, a Megapole butt stock there. Um, we have the skeleton stock, which we definitely don't want that <laughs> because uh, that just looks really weird. I don't know where you'd put your shoulder. And then the NOM 11S. So we'll put this one on there just because it's the closest to the real life version. This will increase the aim and stability, recoil control, accuracy, and flinch resistance. So we'll go ahead and select that. You can see there, that looks a lot better. It's not a hollowed out stock. However, there are still some differences versus the real life stock, but this is the more accurate version on the weapon. So. Next up for proficiency, this none of this matters. You can just throw on whatever you want there. Same with the kit. Rear grip option, again, doesn't really matter. You can throw on uh, whichever one you feel is better. We'll throw on pine tar just for a little bit better recoil control and hip fire accuracy. Now the magazine option. At base, we have a 30 round magazine of the 556 by 45 millimeter NATO. We have options here are the 45 round magazine of the 556 even though it says 5.6. So I believe that is a uh, typo. It should say it should say the 5.56 five, by 45 millimeter, unless this is supposed to be some sort of ammo conversion, but it's still taking a stenag mag. So I believe this is just a, uh, a typo. It should be 5.56. Five, so um, still, you're just increasing your base ammo by uh, 15 rounds. So you can see extended magazine holds more ammunition, with a slight weight increase, they just labeled that wrong. Um, for the next option, we have a, a 30 out Russian short 60 round. So, <laughs> again, a smaller caliber conversion here with a 60 round drum. Interesting. And then we have a uh, 7.62 by 54 millimeter R 
larger caliber for a 30 round magazine so very strange magazine error ammo options there but we'll go ahead and select the 45 round of the 556 by 45 millimeter ammo type you can just do lengthen for that bullet velocity increase and for the underbarrel underbarrel has some interesting options here so believe it or not we have a peck 15 in call of duty vanguard along with this weapon so it looks like they probably brought the same very similar weapon model from uh modern warfare over here and you can see that's going to attach the left hand picatinny that peck 15 the charlie ink laser going to give you the recoil control and the accuracy and then we have the flashlight option here and then we also have another this is the, your hip fire accuracy option here as well so this is actually cool we'll select the charlie ink laser for this and if we look at the uh flashlight option this actually mounts right where it, it would in real life is it mounts right in the front there so that's pretty cool attention attention to detail there right in the front of the handguard um good to see that you could also put it in real life an underbarrel grenade launcher there so that is our final build of this weapon obviously you have different muzzle attachments you can find there your proficiency in your kit but this is the final version now there's no integrated optic and the uh, real life the fn f2000 has an integrated optic on this and then there's the tactical version which we have here which has that full like picatinny rail on top but i'm surprised well i'm not surprised but it would have been cool if they put the integrated optic on here um as a custom attachment like they did for the modern warfare weapons in 2019 potentially we see this weapon return in modern warfare 2 this year um with that customization on there that would be actually a very interesting uh platform conversion for the receivers for the f uh the fn p90 because this is essentially a a rifle version of the p90 fn fn kind of upscaled this use that same design concept uh for a 556 rifle versus the uh 57 in the F fn p90 so this is the final version of the weapon here that we're going to use the f2000 and before we get into some of the gameplay uh just point out some things here so we have on the uh left hand side here we have the charging handle right above that pec 15 and then you have the charging handle we have our iron sights now the if i inspect this we might be able to get a good shot of the select fire options here on this weapon as it's going through so you see the charger handle there above the pec 15 which looks pretty cool and right there above the uh trigger you can see there's that little that little notch or that swivel there right below the trigger is what i meant to say so right below the trigger there's that little swivel that's gonna go from uh that's gonna be your select fire so it'll go from select fire to uh single to i believe they had a, a uh, burst option potentially on this maybe not and then you had a full auto option so that little swivel right below the trigger is where you would select that if we back out again um right here in front of the of the magazine on the bottom of that handguard you see that little black uh push button there right in front of the magazine here so that's your magazine release so what you would do is well when you need to reload is use either your offhand or because this is a bullpup assault rifle whatever you're doing is you go to grab the magazine and as you're going to grab it you would push up on that magazine release release and then obviously put in a new magazine so that's how you would release the magazine now this is actually a really interesting design you see this little uh top cover here on the back this plastic little top cover so that's kind of your access into the guts of the weapon your access port not a very big area but inside of there there's a little polymer attachment that as you're firing the weapon it feeds this polymer uh piece feeds the spent cartridges up into up in front of the weapon so it's going to go above the barrel those spent cartridges and then you see here on the right hand side of the weapon this little door opening right below that front iron sight so that little op opening there right below that front iron sight as those casings pile up and move forward to the front of the weapon above the barrel they will eject from that little ejection door or that port opening there in the front right hand side of the weapon so bullpup weapon there's no because it's bullpup one of the issues with bullpup is spent cartridges going right in your face so the solution here was um to feed those rounds forward above the barrel and eject them out of the front of the weapon through this little porthole there so pretty cool weapon there really interesting to see obviously it is all uh completely ambidextrous because of the select fire options there below the trigger you see you can access that on both sides you have your magazine release again for both sides and uh, your charger handle i believe is the only thing that is uh 
is uh, dependent on the side. I don't believe the charging handle was swappable in real life. So that's the F2000 here. Pretty nice looking. Now, jumping into some of the gameplay here, we'll show first off the recoil control in, in Vanguard and um, in Warzone. It appears to just be kind of straight up and to the right. Nothing very heavy. However, I did notice, at least with this build and what I was using when I unlocked it, um, when I was trying to level it up just a little bit because it is double weapon XP, it definitely does have some horizontal bounds, but it does have a, a fairly high rate of fire. It's definitely a lot of fun to use um, in real life. So, or in the, in the game <laughs> as well. I haven't fired this thing in real life. It's definitely a rare weapon that is no longer in production, unfortunately. So the F2000, like I said, 556 by 45 millimeter NATO bullpup rifle was designed by FN Herstel, which is a Belgium company. The F2000 made its debut originally uh, in 2001. And then unfortunately, as early as... Uh, 2019 the f2000 was removed from the fn herstel international website so you these are no longer produced um i believe they're probably still there's obviously still some floating around and i don't think they're really actively the main rifle in service in any countries right now but they were adopted by some police forces and things like that And there is the fs2000 which is the civilian version so if you can get your hands on any of those um definitely uh, a good thing to have because they're no longer produced at all so the FN F2000, like I said, bump up assault rifle, semi automatic version would be the FS2000, a civilian version. It's been in service from 2001 through present, um, and we'll get into the users after that. Design period took place from 1995 through 2001 by FN Herstel. It was produced from 2001 through 2019 when production was halted. Variants of this are going to be the F2000, F2000 Tactical, which we have here. You have the FS2000, that civilian version, and the F2000S. Now, the mass of this weapon in real life is going to be uh, 3.6 kilograms or 7.9 pounds on the F2000 for the Tactical version. If we look at the length overall, it's going to be 688 millimeters or 27.1 inches on the base version and the Tactical version. Barrel length in real life for all versions um, minus the civilian version is going to be 400 millimeters or 16 inches. And uh, for the civilian version, the FS2000, you have 443 millimeters. That's going to be a little bit over 17 inches for the civilian versions of these weapons, which are the semi-automatic ones. Now, the width overall is going to be 81.3 millimeters or 3.2 inches, with the height being 259.1 millimeters or 10.20 inches. Now the cartridge, like I said, is the F556 by 45 millimeter NATO. It is not uh, swappable with anything else. So it was not a multi-caliber platform or anything like that that could be swapped out with different barrels. Um, gas operated rotating bolt action and the rate of fire in real life is 850 rounds per minute. So with that rapid fire barrel, you get it, get it up pretty high to where it would be in real life. The base version, it just fires a little bit slower, it seems. So I wanted to I get it up a little higher to the right rate of fire. Muzzle velocity in real life is going to be that 900 meters per second or the 2,953 feet per second with the effective damage range at 500 meters or 1,600 feet. Now, the feed system for this is that detachable box magazine. That's Deneg box magazine. Um, so you have 30 round magazine. And then I don't think there was ever anything else. The 45 rounds and things like that. Are, are difficult with this because one thing in real life is that magazine it fed up uh being a bullpup weapon it was pretty much um very little of it was protruding from the bottom of the weapon so um it would be difficult your your typical 45 round magazine i don't think would actually fit in this weapon i could be mistaken um but i don't think it would because really in real life when you feed a 30 round stenag bag in this only the the bottom little piece of the bottom part portion of the magazine is sticking out they didn't want it in the way so to have a 45 round magazine or even a quad stack 60 anything like that drums i don't believe they would fit or be compatible with this weapon unless it's specifically designed for the f2000 now the sights like i was i was discussing earlier on the original f2000 it had an integrated 1.6 time magnified optic there and then the later versions like the f2000 tactical um we have the full like picatinny on top so Similar to what we saw with like the G36 and some other weapons, they started with these integrated optics and then moved to later versions having the Picatinny rail options um, where you could detach those. Now, cool thing is in real life, it did have the GL1 grenade launcher, um, which would be uh, mounted on this underbarrel portion where we looked at the flashlight and everything like that. So you could mount that on there as well. 
really cool weapon here again it, the design was i feel like it was ahead of its time for a bullpup weapon very small compact very high rate of fire another cool thing is with the uh the f2000 the tactical version here um unfortunately you can't do it here but in the real life version um you did have the ability to equip an under barrel just a grip or anything like that on this weapon as well so you could tech these things out uh very well actually and um they perform pretty well but for whatever reason it just didn't really catch on um the design it just like a, a bulky bulky futuristic design kind of um never really never really caught on but like i said it really was designed fn off of the p90 this was kind of the upscaled version of the p90 just in assault or a rifle format and 556 by 45 millimeter nato now this weapon like i said actually pretty fun to use in vanguard i i reinstalled vanguard just to uh play with this in privates and then i decided to mess around and try to un finish unlocking it because i did play just some plunder with the magnified optics on there and uh did that and then got into uh just some games and played around with it so pretty fun weapon really en enjoy seeing it added to the game however it's just a little weird it was added to vanguard um and not the modern warfare client but I'm sure at this point this was easier for them to do to add the modern weapon they have what looks like an updated version of the PEC 15 there as well so um now that this asset's floating around I would not be surprised if we do see this like I said as a platform conversion uh to or from the p90 in modern warfare 2 later this year so let me know your thoughts down below on the f2000 till next time this is buffing gaming out